Hi Scorpio, I'm Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and also on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. You can find the main links on the main page and welcome back my Cyber Angels, thank you for your support and the live session yesterday was awesome and I hope you uh, enjoyed it too for those that were there and I'm sorry to have missed the people that were at work or couldn't make the live sessions and get connected because it is nice to get to know each other besides just pulling free cards or s uh, super chats this was a relaxing time because we did uh, talk about uh, the readings last week and what they meant I did ask the questions as and I didn't get so many questions from people but the ones that n gave me questions they were interesting and um, somebody else suggested a new deck so I'm looking into that and I hope um, I'll enjoy it it was um, postcards from heaven by um, Baron Reed call it Baron Reed she also made the animal deck the an animal oracle uh, deck and that's a beautiful deck. She's a beautiful artist and a beautiful creator So I'll in, uh, look into that and see whether I uh, like it enough to order it But it sounds interesting Sorry, I had to take a sip of water and um, So um, that is something that's come out of these live sessions and I enjoyed it and uh, I we me also discussed or I mentioned the series of the witch and also the interviews and the reviews so if you have any uh, belated uh, suggestions or questions then put them in the reaction below the video <coughs> excuse me but this is your reading for the 20th to the 27th of April and if you're new then please subscribe and hit the bell when you hit the bell you get three choices none private or all so if you would like to be notified when new videos are loaded up or when I go live Monday Wednesday or Friday then hit that bell on all and let's get started with the reading and if you would like to have an extended reading then uh, look below the video all the information is in the description box and also here in the corner you see a little white circle with an eye and it will take you straight to the website charliesangeltarot.com and there you can watch the reviews and the witches series and the interviews okay the first card that you have uh, Scorpio is the eight of Ariel and the eight of Ariel means that you might start a study but it is definitely recognition for your hard work and the angel is helping him and giving him the power and of courage and to motivate him and so remember you're never alone you are watched all the time by the angels and protected and the divine there might be a promotion for you this week perhaps you're working from home and your employer uh, think wow that's great stuff so you might be getting a promotion take great pride in your excellent work practice makes perfect consider getting additional education or a training so um, that you will be even more um, noticed when you go back to work and that you might get a promotion perhaps you can do a home course or a home study to put the dots on the eye and cross your teeth and surprise your employer when you get back to the office you've got the key in your own hand to do that you could also perhaps phone up or connect with the employer and suggest to do a, a, a course whilst you're at home uh, so that he ask him whether he will pay for it no you have yes you can get so open door to possibilities and open the door to positivity and close the door to negativity you're in your own strength midweek we have the ace of Michael 
and I think you're going to find that your employer is going to say yes because the Ace of Michael is the Ace of Swords and that means victory is yours uh, Ariel is Pentacles so that's the Eight of Pentacles so I'm sorry that I didn't tell you that but th now you can relate better to it most probably and it might resonate more with you the Ace of Swords also means a new study a beginning of a new study as the Swords stand for Wisdom communication and justice, clarity, honesty so justice will be done perhaps you might want to get knowledge or you might want to learn how to communicate like a presentator or um, um, somebody that does presentations or presentator on TV or media or uh, make videos uh, for YouTube uh, for your company or um, do adverts who knows so let's see what the card says a wonderful new idea don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress communication problems with others then you have the fox there might be somebody sly and analytical at work or around you so be careful be forewarned forearmed is forewarned sorry forewarned <laughs> is forearmed there could be somebody jealous around you because the fox does stand for career as well so the your employer like I said might be keeping an eye on you whether you can work d on deadlines that you can get them finished on time or that you are working precisely crossing your T's and dotting your I's because he would love somebody that can be really analytically and precise so that's most probably why you're going to get the answer yes if you are working precise Scorpio and then you will get that study if you want that but remember a fox uh, sheds his fur but not his streaks so there could be somebody around you that is jealous of you and wants the same thing so be careful get the communication clear like this card says uh, clear up communication problems with others and definitely with people that are jealous or not so positive you can close the door on them it's up to you on Friday you have the five of Raphael and the five of Raphael is the five of cups and here it is represented uh, with the f as five presents five boxes look at that and there is still one standing on the m uh, sorry on the mantelpiece I'm working back to front upside down so that's sometimes why it goes wrong don't cr cry over spilled milk and I think in this deck it is really depicted nicely she's looking at what there is and not at what she has lost empty boxes or empty cups she's looking already to the future she's eager to open up but she's in hesitation look at those arms and hands she's standing there in hesitation shall we shall she or shan't she perhaps you are thinking about that as well about the study so it says here everything happens for a reason release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness search for the silver lining so what is coming there you are in a transformational period though because you've got the coffin so that means not a literal death but an end of a phase and a new beginning and you've got victory so that's why I can say I think you're going to get what you are going to ask for if that is what you want then you've got the three of Pentacles the three of Ariel you can see that he's hard at work there and he's looking at what he's made he is n he's an apprentice the three of Pentacles is an apprentice so perhaps you've got two study cards here so it is quite imminent that there might be a workshop or a new study 
that is quite imminent I think um, but you will get recognition this is the apprentice uh, apprentice card this is the legacy and the also the recognition card for your hard work but this is the apprentice card so that is at the weekend I think you're taking your time and you are celebrating I've got the feeling you are celebrating um, that you are going to start something new or gain knowledge in some way and that you're happy for this beautiful recognition because you've got the tower and the tower also means in Lenormand something different than in um, the uh, tarot uh, it is not so negative as in the tarot it's not so scary in uh, the uh, Lenormand it means ambition but don't forget people that support you and love you and are your family or friends whilst you are aiming for the top because when you get to the top there might be a light burning but there's nobody else around it can be very lonely so don't forget the people around you make time make time don't hurt their feelings otherwise they will become mean or sly okay and you might be even uh, this is the card of ambition as well and here you see that the tower is not falling because it's standing straight as in the tarot it's falling the top of the tower is falling and he's sort of wonkling like the tower of pizza here he's built so make sure everything is built on proper foundations this one is so maintain that but also keep I always keep the tower of tarot in the back of my mind unexpected changes perhaps this might be an unexpected change for you that you have to learn or going to start to learn something new again the overall energy is the strength card and you've got the number 11 the angel number so there is a doorway a new beginning step through it step through it my darling okay I forgot to uh, read this card do what you love a time of great personal growth in your career or ar artistic endeavors working with others in cooperative manner boom yeah try to work with others don't forget other people that support you or are around you friends and family colleagues and you've got the strength uh, card and that's Archangel Ariel and this is Ariel you've got two Ariels so Archangel Ariel is very very prominent in your week this coming week strength and grace through kindness self-confidence and forgiveness there is peace you know that through love and patience you become strong in this lady is uh, has love nurturing and patience and she has won the trust um, from the lion he is tame so be kind be uh, cheerful be cl clear and transparent as to what you want and why to others and then you won't have s jealousy or uh, mean people around you this will also um, uh, help you in your health you've got the tree and the tree means health but it's also the family tree so this will also maintain good health and uh, not only you but in the family keeps the family life buzzing and happy knowing that when you're happy they are happy so don't forget the family like I said make time for the family whether it's a partner or partner and children okay and mum and dad of course and mother-in-law and father-in-law but this could also be the money tree right when we talk about money tree money doesn't grow on trees but the tree is green and I call it the money tree so this will bring if you do start this study and you are ambitious you will reach to where you want to go you've got the key in your own hand you will reach the top but it will also bring in money which will in, uh, uh, make you less stressful so it's good for the health go outside as often as you ca can and you need also space 
that is what comes for, to me with these cards. You're no longer the caterpillar. You're going to be the butterfly. You are going to fly. So don't doubt yourself. Don't underestimate yourself. Spread those wings. Healing family issues. If somebody in the family, like mother-in-laws, might think that you are, uh, you you're not doing enough, then now you are showing them. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And this is the only card that I really have a comment on. They forgot not only your parents, but your parents-in-law. You know, it's like that. They always hammer on about mother-in-law. You know, um, so yeah, I think that's wrong. Uh, you shouldn't be nobody should walk around with blinkers on it's not just the parents it's also the parents-in-law it's not just the mother-in-law it's also the father-in-law it doesn't matter which way you look at it uh, sometimes uh, mothers can be or fathers can be very particular when you when you're a daughter your father thinks that your husband or partner will never be good enough and but with mothers it is the boys the wife will never be good enough I think it's very old-fashioned. Be have an open mind. Forgive them. They are from an old generation, and if they are walking around with blinkers on, <laughs> then just forgive them. You have number twenty-five, and that's seven, so that's a lucky number again. Luck. S and you've got pearl. Strengthen your relationship with the divine. Strengthen your relationship with the divine. So you can wear pearls that will strengthen or enhance your detox detoxification, your stress levels. It's healthy. It is good for your emotions. So, boom, you've got luck here, number seven. And you, where did you else did you have luck? Let me have a look. The ace victory. Beautiful. Now, I told you, you might be communicating, you might be getting a job uh, with communication victory. You might want to talk to your boss to advance yourself. Communicate clearly and transparently as to what you want. Okay? People will respect you and hear you. You've also got the number 11, the angel number. So again, luck beautiful the angels and the divine is with you um, Scorpio so you've got the you hold the key you're in your strength look these are more or less the same meanings in the tarot and in the Lenormand I didn't sort out the cards you've got two cards of study or advancement more knowledge recognition Wow you've got victory you are positive because you are looking forward, although in apprehension you are not looking back. You know you don't have to cry over spilled milk because you can only change the present and the future. Okay, get more in contact with your higher self and with the divine or the cosmos, whatever you call it, God and your angels. But watch out for the niggly bits. Okay? And keep the tarot tower in the back of your mind. Ambitious is good, but maintain the balance and maintain time for others. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, my darlings. And if your video last week was one of the ones that had bad quality, excuse me, I've got a new headset now. So I hope you can hear me much better. Take care. Be blessed, stay safe, and I hope to see you in the life. Please like and share and take care.